I want to show you a piece of software. It's called Deep Face Live. Basically, it's swapping the face in real time. So, there are some examples here. And down here, you can see the download here. I have downloaded already. And it's an executable file. It will extract automatically. You don't need to install. Then you will find something like this. DeepFaceLive.bat Just double click on it. OK. Then you will see the windows like this. Let me make it full screen. So now I want to use the camera. Click on this one here. So select my camera. OK, it's on. Hello. The next thing is I need a face detector. And I need to select my GPU. I'm using a very old one, GTX 1060. 6 gigabytes is very old. It's, I got my laptop already five years, I think. And it wasn't the latest when I bought it. Now here I need to select my GPU as well. OK, so you can see there is a detection over here. Let's try the face swap DFM first. And I have to select the device, my GPU. And I have to select a model here. There are a lot of celebrity names. Let's try Mr. Bean. And the model is only downloaded if I select it. OK, now Mr. Bean is downloaded. You can see here, this is the face already swapped. And this is merge. So basically, that's this part here, merge. And let me put down my glasses. Of course, my face is a little bit longer. Then it doesn't look really alike. So, but but it's quite nice that it the face is actually merging on my head, and it's that's a, a kind of in real time. At the moment, it's uh, 14 frames per second. So you can see there's always a little bit delay. My GPU is not powerful enough. One thing I want to show you is instead of using the model here, I can use a single image. Let's turn off this one and turn this on. And I have to select the device again. So then now here I can select a small list of characters. Let's select the Biden here. It's just processing, it takes a while. OK, <laughs> now you can see I'm getting old. <laughs> So basically, if I open this one, then I can see the images are saved under user data animatable. So here are the images. What I can choose one. There's a Kim Jong Ying here. Let's choose this one. So you can see, oh, ha, ha, ha. <laughs> okay. Now let me try my own image. What I love to try is uh, using Elvis Presley. So I've got an image found on internet. Here is uh, Elvis Presley. I've done this in a deepfake video. I put many seconds of Elvis Presley movie to train the model. It took overnight and everything. And uh, you can have a look in that video, but that one doesn't look quite good. Of course, the resolution was much better than here. But this is amazingly well done because this is without any training. Just do it look. Now you can see Elvis Presley here. <laughs> it, the resolution is low compared to my deepfake video. But that one I have to uh, train the model overnight and merge the video again. And this one just run in real time. 
And here on the GitHub website, you can find the documentation. Here is also showing how you can stream the swap video. This part is so showing how to use OMS to capture the window. So let me show you how what that means here. So if I click on the here, I can select what I want to show in the windows. In that case, I want to the merge frame. Show on windows. Okay, it's here. Now I got a separate window here. So in my OMS, now let me add a new scene here. I call it deep face live. And now I have to add a capture device. I'm going to capture the window. So just leave the name here. And I have to find the window here. This is the deep face live output. Now you can see the swap face here. So I'm not going to the details of the OBS. So there are plenty of tutorial. This is what I can do. Either I do it as a virtual camera or record it. So as you can see, there is a extreme delay on my machine. So the trick is, it's also showing here. So I have to go to the advanced audio property. So you can see this is advanced audio properties. Here I have put a two second delay. So let's record the video and see how it goes. Hello, clap, and one more clap. Okay, you can see the latency is extremely high. So let's check my recorded output. Hello. Clap. Okay, you can see and the one more clap. I put in the delay so the recording is matching the audio. I can also select showing two images, source and merge image at the same time. So now you can see the faces next to each other. This is the original one and this is the Elvis Presley swapped face. You can see this is a little bit blurry compared to the one I've done t four years ago. That one uh, I used the deepfix lab to train the model. I had to find some Elvis Presley footage and run through the extractor, then ex extract each frame and detect the face and train the model. And this one just using one single image. This is amazing. I love it. I hope you find the video useful. If you like it, please give me a thumb up. Thank you for watching. Bye.